Hey, what's up guys? So today I wanna to talk about two of the cameras that are the best performers in low light settings, and that is the a7S III and the Canon R6. And a couple of things before we even get into this. First of all, we are super spoiled for low light performance in cameras right now. These cameras are just amazing. They can basically shoot in the dark. And then second, I don't suggest doing that. I don't suggest shooting at these super high ISOs. Cameras record light, so better lighting means better images and worse lighting means worse images and that is with whatever camera you're shooting with. And then the last thing is I'm not comparing these cameras in this video, we're just talking about their low light performance in video specifically. I'm not going to look at photography low light performance between these two cameras because in my opinion the a7S III, although it is in a stills camera body, it's not really going to hold up as a stills camera. So we're looking specifically at video performance today and we're gonna see which one might perform better. So first I wanna say that the Sony has a second not quite native ISO at 12,800 and right at 12,800, I think it's safe to say that the Sony is going to be cleaner than the R6. But I will also say that around the 10,000 ISO area, the Sony gets pretty noisy. But if we're gonna be crazy talking about high ISO, Let's go crazy. So for all of these test shots, both cameras were shot in 4K60, shutter speed one over 125th, and I was using pretty inexpensive 50 millimeter lenses native on both of these cameras. So let's just go crazy and look at 102,400 ISO on both of them. And it's crazy that these ISOs are even potentially possibly usable on these cameras. And I think both of them can be usable if necessary. But again, they will look worse than if you actually light your shot well. But in situations where you have to use them, I think you can get away in certain situations with either one of them, again, in emergency situations where you have to shoot that high of an ISO. And I didn't shoot these on the same day because I didn't have the two cameras at the same time. And it was a little bit darker when I was shooting with the Sony, but I will say of the two here, I think the R6 actually looks a little bit better at these crazy high ISO values. With the Sony, the highlights are a little smeared. It's not terrible considering the ISOs that we're shooting at, but I do think the R6 controls that a little bit better. And I would even say that at the 200,000 ISO range, the R6 is looking just a little bit better than the A7S III at the 100,000 ISO range. But again, we're nitpicking here and we're nitpicking at over 100,000 ISO. It's crazy that these cameras can even both shoot at that ISO and give something that we can consider an image even. So. I think the differences in them, again, I definitely lean toward how the R6 looks at these crazy high ISO values. But if you're looking for a super high performing low light camera, I don't really think you can go wrong with either one of these. And I'll say that if you're already invested in either the Canon or the Sony ecosystem, I don't see a reason here to switch from either one to the other based on the low light performance. They both do pretty mind blowingly well. And again, I will say, if you can avoid it, don't shoot at these high ISO values. But I know that there are situations, maybe documentary work or something where you are in a situation and you just have to get the shot and there's no way to light it. You don't have time to set up for that. And I think either of these cameras will be usable in those situations. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found the information helpful if you're looking at maybe buying one of these cameras or wanting to know what the low light performance is with these two cameras. 
If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in either of these cameras or any of the gear that might go along with them, I'll have affiliate links in the description below. If you purchase through those links at no extra cost to you, you'll help support this channel so that I can keep making videos for you guys. In the comments down below, let me know what you think. Which one would you lean to? Which one would you prefer if you're doing low light work? Would you ever shoot at super high ISO values like that? I hope that I wouldn't have to, but what do you think? If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. See ya.